Hello YouTube, this is Magnum94 here, and this is my opinion. My opinion of the top 10 characters that I want to be in the next Smash Bros. game. Now, I've been trying to compile this list for a while now, and I've been looking up on YouTube for um, options and stuff. And I have found some really crazy messed up answers that people have put on their list. Like, keep people keep putting Master Chief and Goku on their list. Like, Master Chief has never been on a Nintendo console, nor will he ever be. And Master Chief, Master Chief, like, he just doesn't seem to make sense for the game. And also, Goku, yes, he does have a Wii title, but he originated from a TV show. He didn't originate from a game series, and he doesn't have the same tie to Nintendo as other third-party characters do. So, Goku, I guess, had the little more better of a chance, but it's so slim, it's not gonna happen. They're not gonna add characters to this game that have that originated from a TV show or have no ties at all with Nintendo, such as Xbox and PlayStation characters. Like, some guy put his entire list, I think it only had two Nintendo characters, the rest were like Kratos from God of War, the guy from Assassin's Creed, the guy from Minecraft. Um, Master Chief, like, these characters are not going to get in the game, they don't have any ties at all with Nintendo. Like, the third party character that did got put, put in last game, Snake and Sonic, they both make sense. Because Snake, he originated from the NES, and he's had, um, I think he had a title on the GameCube, and I think one for the Wii, I'm not sure. And he makes sense, plus the guy who created Brawl, the guy who created, sorry, Metal Gear helped make Brawl. So I mean, it makes sense that he was in the game. He might be taken out next game. I kind of think he will, because Snake is supposed to not be in the next Metal Gear game, since Metal Gear Solid 4 is supposed to be the last game with Snake in it. So he might get taken out, maybe replaced by the other, um, by the new, uh, and protagonist person and also Sonic he's been the rival of Mario ever since the beginning so he makes sense to be in the game so so it makes sense for them to fight each other and also um Sonic has had a lot of support from Nintendo like he's been on the Wii GameCube Game Boy DS so he makes sense but Master Chief no that's not gonna happen <laughs> um and all you Halo fanboys understand that it's not going to happen. But yeah, let's get on with my list. So, at number 10, Ridley from Metroid Prime. Now, a lot of people keep saying that Ridley's not going to get in the game because he's too big. Um, resizing has never been an issue before with Nintendo, so why should it now? Like, Mario's supposed to be... Five foot seven or five foot five ish, something in that range, and he says he's a, a little bit shorter than Lucario, who's supposed to be three foot eleven. So by saying that they that downsizing Ridley is a problem is not a valid point. Plus, people keep saying that what kind of good move set can you give him? A better question would be what move set couldn't you give him? I mean. Just look at him. He could use his wings to fight. He could shoot fireballs. He could, like, pound the ground. Use his tail. Pretty much take everything Bowser could do and Charizard could do. Smash them together and you have Ridley. Like, you can't... Like, none of these uh, um, statements have any value because they're just not thinking right. I mean, like I said, resizing has never been an issue before. He was Plus, Ridley was supposed to be in Melee and Brawl. They couldn't quite work him into melee. I guess they just decided he'd be better for a boss and brawl. And I think he it's his time to be in the next game. Plus, it'd be really cool for him to when he does his smash, uh, final smash, he goes um, Meta Ridley or even uh, Omega Ridley. Like that would be really cool if like, and then he gets more powerful and just wrecks things, kind of like Giga Bowser does. Oh so, yeah. Um, I think uh, plus. Metroid does need another representative because Zero Suit Samus just wasn't as satisfying as other things could have been. Dark Samus is not going to get in. It'd be an exact Samus clone. 
And I don't think any of the uh, hunters from Metroid Prime series are going to get in either. It'd just be... I mean, none of them really stand out as important enough to be in the next game. So, yeah. Um, before I go on to the next list, next person on the list, uh, a lot of people have, for these top ten lists, one character for a franchise. I'm going to say, for this list, one slot for a franchise. And you're going to understand what I mean during... Uh, on the next option. Number nine, Toon Zelda slash Toon Ganondorf from The Wind Waker. Now, I said one slot, like, they're gonna, like, Toon Zelda and or Toon Ganondorf. I couldn't decide which one wanted in more, so I just put them on the same, same, uh, you know, same slot. Now, it'd be kind of, I mean, I don't really think Legend of Zelda deserves six different characters. But if they're going to have Toon Link, they might as well go ahead and complete the Toon Triforce. Um, plus, I think all of, they can both fight differently enough so that they're not just exact Zelda and Ganondorf clones. Like, Ganondorf, because he, he could fight more with his swords, and I think he would use a little more magic and a little more agile. Like, he in the games, he jumped around and, like, spun around and stuff. I think he would fight a lot differently than Ganondorf would, not just rely on pure power. And Toon Zelda, she would still do pretty much everything, um, everything Zelda would do, but I think she would be a little faster, um, have, hopefully have a better duck, because, or crouch, it's called, yeah, hopefully better crouch, because Zelda's crouch is terrible. Plus, she could, um, for her down to be, instead of turning into Sheik, she could turn into the, maybe have something to do with those statues she can turn into in, um, or possess in Spirit Tracks. I think that would be really cool if they somehow incorporated that into her moveset. Um, and like I said, I hope only one of them gets in. I hope it's Ganondorf. But it would be nice if they just had both of them. Like I said, I don't really think... One franchise that there's six characters, at least at this stage of the of um the series. But I think it's necessary to have them both in. I mean, one or the other will be fine, but both I think would be really cool. Next up is King K. Rule. A favorite among most people who make this list. Um now he since Donkey Kong Country Returns came out, I think he has a pretty good chance to get in. Because he was the villain in that game, and I think he would be a really good character since Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong Jr. don't really have a villain to fight right now. Same with Ridley. Like, this game needs more villain characters, so I think it makes sense for them to put in another villain from that game. Um, although I'm not really sure what kind of moveset they would give him. I, I guess, like, he could kind of incorporate all three of these different... Uh, aspects of what he can do. I don't really know what that one do is, but I know he's a pirate and he's has a he uses fists. I haven't actually played this game, but I know enough about it to make him in there. Apparently, um, I also know much. Um, sorry, know m enough about him to know that King K. Rool, I think, was supposed to be. Was hold on. I'm, wait, I got that confused on the note, sorry. Wow. I got, got confused. Okay, I don't know what I was thinking of. I was about to say he was supposed to be the main character of the Donkey Kong series, but... That's not right. I don't know. I think we get it confused with something from uh, Banjo-Kazooie. Maybe. They're both playing about Rare. Who cares? Um, so, yeah, I think, like, maybe... He could, like, shoot cannonballs as one of his B-moves. Whatever. That Franken? Yeah, I think a Frankenstein King K. Rool. Uh, I don't really know what he would do, but... I know he could do something mad science-y. And then just do random, like, other stuff that King K. Rool does throughout the game. Like I said, I haven't really played Donkey Kong Country, but I know enough to know that he... These three things are what he does. <laughs> um, sorry, I plead ignorance, but uh, I really, I really think he should be in the game because this game does need more enemy characters. 
Next, Crystal from Star Fox Adventures. Now, a lot of people say that's not a Star Fox game. I'm a believer of that too. But you can't deny that she needs to be in the game. Possibly even replacing Falco. Yes, Falco was in Melee and in Brawl, but Falco... I don't understand why Falco was in the game before Wolf was. Because Wolf... you think they would put him in there since he's the villain. Or, like, the main bounty hunter who's, like, opposes Fox. You think they would put Wolf in there before his ally. And... Also, please do not put any of the other two um, pilots in the next game. That would just be sad, because it would be pretty much the exact same character as Fox. And I think with Crystal, they could change her up enough so that she wouldn't be an exact Fox clone like Falco and even Wolf was. Like, she could use her staff to fight. She could use... I think she can use telepathic stuff. Um... She'd be a little bit quicker. I don't think she wouldn't fall as fast. So, and she, like, a lot of agile and, like, a lot more punches and kicks and stuff. Um, and use her staff for magic and whack people with it. I don't know. I don't know. They need more female characters. Plus, they really do not need the other pilots in the game. If they do, I don't know what I would do. Um, so, yeah. I... Next, I'm not really sure if Ike is going to be kicked out of the next game, because I know Roy was kicked out, and then since Ike is in this game, I don't know if he's going to get kicked out or not, but if he is kicked out, or even if he's not, I mean, it would be fine if he, if he stays, but I want another Fire Emblem character, and I think it would be a no better one than Krom from the new Fire Emblem Awakening that's supposed to come out later. I think early next year. I think. Um, yeah, I mean, just look at him. He looks... He, like, fits the role perfectly as a Fire Emblem character. He's not huge and bulky, but he still looks menacing with that flowing cape, that scowl on his face. I mean, he... And yes, he would probably be similar to to Marth, but I think he would fight a lot like Ike, but I don't really know anything about him, I just know by how he looks. Fight a lot like Ike, with like more powerful attacks, but still be stabby at the same time. But be fast, like Marth was. So basically, a combination between Marth and Ike, just with a uh, slightly... I think it's a longer sword than Marth. That would be... I think... I hope he, like, kind of stabs more instead of just, like, like, slashes and, uh, yeah. Because we really don't need another, um, slashing character. Another, like, stabby character would be nice. Because we have way too many swords in the game that is. I really think they can make him fight differently enough than Mars that it wouldn't just be a complete Mars clone like Roy was. At least I'm hoping. I mean, plus he just looks awesome. <laughs> Yeah, so next, May, uh, slash, this is a slash, not and or, but slash Brendan from Ruby and Sapphire. And I think Pokemon Trainer Red is going to get kicked out of the next game because, I mean, the, the, um, the Leaf Green Fire Red remakes, they're, like, last, they're two generations ago, so I don't really think they're going to get in the game. And if speculations are, are correct and a new, um, Ruby and Sapphire remake, or Emerald, I guess, remake are going to come out, then I think they have a really good chance of getting in. And for the Pokemon they're going to use, I think Mudkip, Grovile, and Blaziken. I know Mudkip, he can't really use any of his, um, he can't really use appendages to fight, but Squirtle didn't really use his appendages. He's kind of, like, kind of lunged at them to attack. So I think Mudkip is fine. Grovile, it'd be really cool. Yes, you like slash and use bullet seed. And Blaziken, I really want Blaziken in the game. I you didn't like he's my favorite Pokemon ever. It'd be awesome if he represented in the game somehow. And like he would fight a lot like Captain Falcon, but he would be different enough. And like he would instead of up and be that grab explosion thing that Captain Falcon would do, he'd more like an uppercut and he'd focus a lot more on kicks and not punches and elbow thrusts 
Um, although he would still do the the uh, knee of pain in the air. I think that's what it's called, knee of justice or something. I really want like these three characters. I just really want to be playable because I think it would be awesome to fight as Grovile. Like you can make so many do you like Mudkip's jokes, and Blaze the Kid is my favorite Pokemon ever. Um, personally, I think May has a slightly better chance to get in because of her presence in the anime. Brendan, it would be cool since um, I always kind of like Brendan over May because May just kind of annoys me. <laughs> um, but either one would be really cool as a replacement for uh, for Red, and I guess um, uh, the guy, the main character, Ethan. I think Ethan has a chance of getting in since Heart Gold Silver remade. But if they do remake um, Ruby and Sapphire, I think they have a much better chance. Next up, Palutena slash Medusa from Kid Icarus Uprising. Um, now they're both female characters, and I think they do need more female characters, and I just don't really think Magnus has that as great of a chance as people think he does. He's only in one game so far, Kid Icarus Uprising, and these two have been in all three. Um, so I think, like, they both would fight a, they, they would both fight a lot similar to each other and, I guess, Zelda. But I think they can differentiate them enough. Like, Palutena, she would be pretty much an exact Zelda clone, as realized. But she would also fight with... I think they would be cool if they gave her um, different weapons like they do. Like, weapons you can use in the game, like the Palutena bow and the wolf claws, like she did in that anime short. I don't know if it was a short. I just know they had some anime with her in it. And, um... Also, she could use her staff to, like, send up magic balls out and teleport around. Plus, you you got to see her fight some in the game. So, I think they could take some stuff from that from the game and use that to make her moveset with. And for Medusa, she would use her staff to shoot out balls and stuff. But I think it would be pretty cool if somehow they kind of used the, um, the snakes to, like... I think it would be cool if in the next game they kind of they added the turn to stone feature. Yes, I know it doesn't really make sense for the game, but I think I mean, it hasn't been used in any other series. But I think it's pretty much just like being in the ground or being frozen. Just like you break out after a little bit. I think it would just be pretty cool if like down and B from Medusa turns them to stone for a couple seconds. Or something like that. Or makes them freeze somehow. Um... And plus she could shoot magic balls out and use her staff to hit things. Um, she would also slash, because she did that some. Oh no. Sorry about that. And you just saw Bowser Jr. <laughs> okay. Um, she could slash some and uh, maybe for a final smash her head could come off and shoot lasers and stuff. I don't know what her final smash will be. Um, yeah. I, I kind of want Medusa in more than Palutena, but Palutena probably has a better chance. So yeah, next. You already saw him, but, you know. Um, Bowser Jr. from Mario Sunshine. Now, the reason I say the Mario Sunshine Bowser Jr. is because he does have this awesome face mask thing and that paintbrush. He could use those to fight. Like, the mask, I think he used the mask to turn into um to Shadow Mario, whatever you call it. Like, maybe down and B turn into a Shadow Mario, and then you can fight just like Mario, but be, I don't know, a little different. Like, still have the paintbrush you can still fight with. Like, incorporate that somehow. And the paintbrush you could, like, hit stuff with, and maybe, I don't know, like, use, like, to splash out paint and hurt them. Also, I think with, with the paintbrush and the, um face mask, they can make him different enough that he's not just a Bowser clone. Like, Down and B would probably still be the ground pound. I know I said Down and B would be a transformation, but they can they can incorporate that somehow else. Like, maybe just pressing B or something. I don't think he could, I don't think he should shoot fireballs. The paintbrush should, like, shoot something out. And I really think they can make him different enough so that Bowser would not just be his clone. Or he would be a Bowser clone. I don't really know what up and B would be. I guess up and B would still be Bowser's recovery. 
Um, maybe. I don't know. Next. Kirby's Epic Yarn Kirby. Yeah, Kirby's Epic Yarn Yarn Kirby. Um, a lot of people say that he's not going to get in because he's another Kirby. But you can't say that because Dr. Mario, Mario, Zel um, Link, Young Link, and Toon Link. So I think Yarn Kirby being in the game is no different than that. Um, well, as Yarn Kirby, I think he would be a whole lot different than Kirby himself because his up and B, instead of the little slice thing, he would turn into a parachute and float down kind of slowly. Over B, he could turn into a card. Um, just regular B, I think it would be cool if they, like, sucked in the opponent and they were automatically spat out the other end because since he has a hole, he wouldn't, like, eat them. And they take damage when they hit the ground on the other side. And down and B, it would still be the 10 ton weight thing. But it would look different because it's yarn, and it wouldn't. It would like maybe fall faster. You wouldn't like. He wouldn't have to like turn into rock and then fall. He would just fall. So I really think they could make him different enough that not just be a Kirby clone. Plus his final smashing and turn to that tank that he does at the end of some of the levels. Um, because I know you get reach this checkpoint thing and then you turn into the giant tank and he wrecks stuff for a couple of minutes. Oh yeah. Now. Number one, Mega Man or Mega Man X from the Mega Man series. Now, I couldn't decide. Um, I really want Mega Man X in the game just because they could probably, because he looks more like a fighter. But Mega Man himself, he could do more because he could like, he could use his rush, his rush dog to um, to to fight with. Like, Rush Coil to jump up, Rush Jet to move across the field pretty fast. And maybe if they incorporate some kind of underwater level, Rush Jet could turn into, like, a Rush Submarine instead. Uh, that's another thing, um, after this series, after this video, I'm gonna do a video about what they can change in the next Smash, Smash game. I think that'll be fun. Um, so, yeah, I've been looking out for that. Anyway, um... And down and B, he could, like, maybe do some kind of fiery shield or some shield that he does. Maybe one, um, either skull, leaf, fire shield, bubble shield, I think crystal shield. Yeah, um, one of those shields and, like, block an attack or something. But with Mega Man X, he would be a little more powerful. He would probably, his dash would be quicker. Um, he could, like, instead of, he could, like, jump and do an up and A, like, use his headbutt attack, and it hurts people above, and maybe, maybe give him his armor in the game, that way he have all of his abilities, um, and maybe, like, when he launches his, uh, uh, Buster Blaster, um, it, like, sends out the shockwave in the back that also hurt the people behind you. So, either one would be fine, as long as they don't make it a Samus clone. That's what I'm worried about. I mean, yes, he he's a lot different, but with the Buster Blaster thing, I just hope they don't make it exactly like Samus's. And they don't make his aerial attacks just like Samus's. I really think they could make him a really awesome character. Plus, it's kind of sad that he hasn't been in the game yet, because... He was originated on the NES, and it doesn't make sense that he wasn't in uh, 64. I mean, yes, he is made by Capcom, and they were kind of straying away from third-party characters, but this third-party, third-party, wow, this third-party character makes sense because he originated on the NES. I know he hasn't, um, Mega Man hasn't gotten that much support lately from Capcom, because of a whole bunch of canceled games and their creator left, I think. Um, but I really do think that he needs to be in the next game. If he's not, people will be sad. Just don't bring in the Mega Man Legends. Mega Man, that, that guy, I don't like that guy. He looks like... He just kind of annoys me. Plus, he never really wears a helmet, so I don't really want him in there. I mean, I like his helmet. That's kind of what defies him. So, yeah, um... That is my top 10 list of characters I want in the next Smash Bros. game.
So yeah, like I said, be on the lookout for my next video. It's about things they can change to make the next Smash Bros. game either better or more gimmicky. Like, um, I already mentioned the water level. Uh, I'm not, I'm, oh, sorry, I'm not going to get into that right now. Just That's one of the things, the water level game. Because, I mean, every game has them. Every game has a water level. So, yeah. Um, be looking out for that. Rate, comment, subscribe. Bye.